Hello beer tubers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter, the master of hophats today joined by Brent. Oh, and Amaisis. Looking at another Wyland beer. This is another collaboration, this time done with Finback. And this is paying the price for my smooth ride. With a label of smooth rides paying the price. <laughs> it's, it's a bit gothic. Yeah, it is. It's, it's definitely quite gothic. Uh, like uh, uh, apocalyptic. All, yeah, yeah. Actually. But the fun thing is all the smooth rides. Oh, just just top being paying the price for being a smooth ride. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, like I guess like it's actually very climate orient oriented. This. Yeah, I guess so. Like, it's I've just it, been riding smooth all my life, and now this it, hammer hits me price. on the fucking head. Yeah. So yeah, maybe that's what they're trying to say. I I I think so. Maybe I I didn't actually I didn't look properly at the label, but uh, yeah, no, I guess now. now that I look properly, it is. Kind of what they're trying to say. Did you see the the picture of the man swimming, and then behind him is a COVID nineteen shark, <laughs> and then after him there is a bigger shark that is the incoming COVID nineteen economic crisis, and then and the after climate. the gigantic shark called climate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but this is not a climate. This is a beer, uh, but this is a double IPA made with Citra, Cryo, and BBC Sabro and Brew One hops. I love Sabro. I've not had it too much, but I think it's a Me neither, cool but I'm really, really hooked to have some more Sabro IPA. Yeah, I love the, the coconutty thing it does. Mm -hmm. uh, 8 by 8 percent. Yep. Last Finback beer we had was probably the Swimming Giants, wasn't it? The collab. Yeah, I can't remember. I've probably had, uh, we've probably had some collab. Maybe. Like, I think we had a North yeah. collab, but I can't remember the beer. It's been a while, but yeah. this... Looks nice. It looks very similar to the single IPA, and you know a pin bright. It's very bright, but it's kind of the the Wyland style. They they don't really do these heavy, sweet no IPAs. But it looks nice, and it looks still you know still hazy and whatnot, and it only pills are malt the notes, right? Yeah, it's crazy. <gasps> so very hop centric. A bit sure. brave for the yeah, style. We'll see. I mean, yeah. I think it's just gonna be super bright. It yeah. smells really bright from here. Yeah. White head. Let's check out the aroma. Wow, that's really nice. It is. That is really nice. It is. Really bright. It's got that fucking coconut. Coconut, 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 coconut pineapple. Coconut lime. Pineapple. Lime, yeah. It's like, it's Sabro, it's almost like a, a hop version of pina colada. Yeah. Almost. It's not like this. If you smell it is like, like, a, like it is. you did pina colada like, in Like a lot of people was like, it doesn't smell like that. But like, think of it, if you take something like a hop, and you would make a hop emulated, but while well, still smelling a hop. That's yeah. what we mean when we say Yeah, because it doesn't smell like the actual pina like colada. Pina colada but, but it smells like hops that has notes that reminds you of it. It's the yeah. same like if you talk about grapes. You can't have a grape that tastes like a fucking apple. Or no. whatever, a red apple. But it has an apple grape. notes. Yeah, or like yeah. forest fruit and earthiness yeah. and all this stuff, you know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, it smells great. Yeah. It's totally the pina colada vibe. Um, sweet yeah. citrus too, bright citrus, like lemon lime. Um, yeah. To me it's, it's yeah. just like uh, coconut, lime, pineapple. Pineapple, yeah. yeah. It's very, very nice smelling. There's like some sweetness from the oats too underneath. Yeah, I think it has like, uh, like actually an um, impressing uh, amount of sweetness mm -hmm. from the very apparently light malt base, unless they bombed it out with oats. Lightly maybe. dank. Lightly. Yeah. But super bright. Yeah, it's mostly like really bright singing and bright. It smells great. Yeah. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. It is super bright. Wow, that is really nice. Super singing the coconutty lime pineapple. Absurdly drinkable for 8.8%. I really want to drink more beer with Sabro. Mm. Fuck, if this is like Sabro. Yeah, it's of course the other hops too, but that, like it's yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. really like it's it is like I guess it's good with friends, probably good with <laughs> friends. What was the saying with it? Great alone, but even better with friends. Yeah. Something like that. It is. It's it tastes really good. Fuck, that's great. It's one of the best bright New England IPAs mm. and unique New England IPAs I've had in a while. Yeah. Yeah, and it's very balanced. You know, it mm -hmm. has. It's zesty and it's a bit sweet. It, it's actually the sweetness is very oaty. Yeah. 
like like oatmeal. Yeah, yeah. Silky, slick as well, but also a good amount of dryness. Yeah. Yeah, again, dry. It's not. I wouldn't say bitter, like, but it's just almost a bit dry. of lemongrass. Yeah, like uh, yeah, almost a little bit yeah, like yeah, sriracha yeah, yeah. ace. Yeah, yeah, but not all the way. Yeah, because of that like limey, yeah, yeah lemongrassy thing. Yeah, that's true. That's actually very true. I really dig this. I really dig this. Mm. I think it's hella cool. That's why it's awesome that they're breeding new hops. You know, to get experiences like different experiences. Like it's like. The one combo I think that never goes old for me is the Holy Trinity, the uh, Nelson, Citra, and Mosaic. Mm. That never gets old. But a lot of times, other combinations, like, they, they get old. You've tried it so much. So it's so awesome that they're experimenting with hops. Yeah. Um, but yeah. It's Actually, a lot of the UK breweries are experimenting with Sabro as of late. Especially Cloudwater, but yeah. Uh, I guess we haven't... Yeah, we, we, we've had some of them in, in, in Denmark, but we haven't, like, maybe tasted a lot of them. No. Nope. Like, only a few. This um, really makes me want to brew a supper yeah. beer. That's... I see why. I, I would also love something like, uh, especially Verdant, to, to like, yeah, play around with, because I think it could be really good with the really, like... Sweetness and the yeah, estrogen. like, the yeast-centric. I, I think it could be even more pina colada-like. Yeah. Because of all the sweetness. I think so. Because this is much more hop driven. Yeah, but I like that too. Yeah. I like like the big zesty singers and the brightness. There's even like hints of like tart kind of... Um, is it like a gooseberry vibe or something? There's like definitely like tart... Maybe, maybe Or maybe grapes or something. There's like a yeah. tart... Fruit. To me it's more like that dusty grape kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's very limey, like slightly unripened pineapple maybe. And then coconut. Yeah. The coconut thing is so unique. Yeah. So Citra, it's funny how versatile that is with different hops. I mm -hmm. mean, it seems like Citra is like a great bind, binding agent mm -hmm. to bind different yeah. hops together because it's so versatile. Yeah. It can go in a beer like this and be so bright and crazy dank. And it can go in a sweet estuary beer and bind everything together to be overripe and crazy juicy. Yeah. I guess that's why so many people use the hop too. Mm. But yeah. The other one was with Brew One as well, and I see similarities, but Sabro really makes this one stand Maybe out. that lemongrassy thing comes from the Brew One. Mm, yeah, it could be. It could be. Because it, the other one did have that lemon limey character yeah. too. Yeah, slightly grassy thing too. Yeah. I actually feel like going 95 on this. Mm. I think this is fantastic bright IPA. I think so. This is really refreshing, really unique, very... Just very singy and tropical, bright tropical too, you know. It's Exceptional drinkability for uh, for 8.8%. It's just fucking 9% almost, yeah. and I, it's so drinkable. Yeah. It's much more drinkable than the like really overripe stone fruity yeah. kind of, or just like the yeah, it's juice just, bombs. You have like, no this is still problem a juice drinking. bomb, but it's not like so overripe. Mm. I'm just making it more drinkable. A little yeah. bit of bitterness, but nothing it's crazy. It's not palate fatiguing at all. No, not at all. Just, and this is so fresh. This is like a, a week. Yeah, I mean. Something like that. I mean, it's again, it's that's the other one that was one rating on this beer online. Mm. It was like a week. I'm pretty sure, like, while in release, there are IPAs around the first, you know, every month. So, like, the first of April, the first okay. of March. So, it's like that's one, an today. like, a few days plus minus of the first day in the month. So, it, it's probably a week old. Hello, Daisy. 95. I think so. Fucking great. Yeah. It's the awesome. there, like early world class. I mm -hmm. think. So, yeah, if you guys have a chance to try it, also, not just while I'm Finback. Yeah, because you know, Finback, like, Finback is, makes is fantastic. a brilliant IPA brewery. Yeah, and, and also also just a brilliant brewery, yeah. yeah. Or in the States. So, yeah, yeah if you guys had a chance to try paying the price for my smooth ride, the collab between Wylam and Finback, that's what we thought of it. If not, go get yourself some, especially if you love the singing and bright New England IPAs. This is. Right up your alley, fantastic stuff. If you had a chance to try it, let's know what you thought of it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We're gonna say cheers. cheers. See you guys in another beer review. And it has a little bit of ganja water, actually. <laughs> it does. A little bit of dankness.